everyone, it's been a while, hasn't it? But if you saw my last video, watching paint dry, you'll know exactly where I've been and exactly what I've been doing. Anyway, I caught up with a video from Anna Brim, who is also known as Mrs Brimbles, the other day. And she's created a what's in my pencil case tag. And I thought, I'm jumping on that bandwagon because I have a pencil case and I love pens and pencils and everything like that. So I have my pencil case here and this is the one that I keep in my desk drawer. Um, I just dip in and out of it occasionally. So let's go and see what's in it. So question number one, what pencil case do you use? Well, I use this. It's not a traditional pencil case, but it is a bag that I keep pens and pencils in. Question number two, why do you use it? I use it because it's, as you can see, it's quite deep and has got quite a lot of room inside it. Question number three, where was it from? This was actually made for me by my friend Natasha. Um, she has a Facebook page. I will link it down below. I think it's Natasha's Crafty Corner. Um, she wanted to make me a tablet case and this was used for my tablet for a long time. Um, but I have a hard case because I was carrying it around for a while. And this just seemed perfect to fit pens in and hence the large flap. Um, but it does mean that I can get a couple of notebooks in there as well if I ever needed to take this out. So that's why it's now a pencil case. Question number four, do you carry it about or does it stay at home? This tends to stay at home in my desk. I've never really carried, felt any need to carry it around, but, um, and I don't think I will because stuff would fall out of the side if I did carry it around. But it's, like I say, it's a handy one to have in my desk. Question number five, show us what's inside. So this is the exciting bit. I'm just going to dive in and um, we'll see what comes out. So, um, Stabilo Boss Pink Highlighter, a HB Nice Day Pencil, um, a big four colour Biro, which is purple, pink, blue and green, a green ruler, a gel pen, which I don't think has a name. I don't know. It's a blue gel pen, um, a black bic, uh, a blue bic. Then I have pink friction, another pink friction. Um, oh, a gold gel pen, which is the one I think it's gold. No, that one's the silver one. Um, that is the one I use for writing Christmas cards with and things. Um, another gel pen which is black, a green marker, uh, a blue biro, oh, Digi Enable, that is a friend of mine, um, Darren and Liz own Digi Enable and that's probably from a conference that I went to last year. Um, what else is in here? Oh, falling off the table now. Um, what else is in here? I have got a park pen, black park pen. I've got a compass, which I was actually I was using that the other day to show the grandchildren how to do patterns. I've got a purple friction. I've got a Stabilo refill. I'm not even sure I have the pen for that anymore. Um, oh, there's the gold um, gel pen for writing Christmas cards with. I've got a two colour bic which is pink and blue. I've got another ruler, blue plastic this time. I have my London ruler which was sent to me the other day by Sean. Then I've got three page markers which were sent to me a while back by a friend um, Liz and um these are really good I, these go in my notebook this is why they're always handy they go in my notebooks and in my file packs and things like that then i have oh another silver um gel pen another pink two color bic uh pair of scissors another stabilo refill i'll have to find out what pens those are for um oh a purple bic four color um, 
Parker refill, roller ball refill, 0.7 millimetres. Um, a Parker gel refill, 0.7. A silver Parker pen, which is just a clickable one. Another Parker pen, which is a roller ball. Um, and last is, oh, um, orange friction. And then last is um, an old makeup brush, but I use that to clean the keys on my laptop keyboard. That's the word I was thinking of. So that's everything that was inside my pencil case. There's nothing else. There's no pockets in it. It's just um, I feel a bit like a magician when I do things like that. Look inside. Nothing inside. Nothing inside. I'm not going to pull a rabbit hat though, so don't worry about it. Question number six. What was in there that you had forgotten about? Well, it was probably the pen refills. I'm not even sure. Where are you? I'm not even sure that they actually fit into any of my pens anymore. Um, what else did I, had I forgotten about? Oh, I've forgotten about the um, gel pens. So that's quite handy because I'll obviously be writing Christmas cards soon. Next question is number seven. What is your most used or favourite item? Well, I can say the most used ones are probably the friction pens of all different colours. Uh, where's the purple one? My friction pens, definitely. Um, I love using my friction pens. And um, which other one would I go for? I'd probably go for one of the four colour ones because sometimes I use these in my final facts to distinguish work from personal and things like that. So they're always handy. Uh, my favourite items obviously have to be the um, the page markers. Now I don't know if you can see those very well. If I hold them there, can you see them? It's actually rock, paper, scissors. So that's why I like those. And obviously this ruler because it's London. Question number eight. Now that you've gone through it, will you leave anything out? Yes, I probably will. I'll probably get rid or try and find out where the pens are for these refills. I'm definitely going to leave out the gel pens because I'll just make those more available to me for when I start writing Christmas cards. Um, and no, I don't think I'll leave anything else out because it all fits in nicely and it's all quite handy. Number nine. How often do you go through your pencil case? Never. <laughs> um, that's the first time I've ever gone through it. I do root through it and find pens that I need and I do add stuff in and I do take stuff out. Obviously, if it doesn't work anymore, it gets chucked in the bin or a refill is found or whatever. But um, yeah, so very rarely go through anything because um, it's not really an awful lot to go through. So there you go. Number 10, future plans for your case. So is there, are you going to get a new pencil case? Are you going to get new content? Or have you got a wish list? Well, my stationary wish list is this long. Um, so I, I actually use stationery. I tend not to buy things that I just look at unless they're desk items. Um, but all the stationery I use, I like to use it and I like it to be affordable and fun and you get comments on it but I do like to use it so everything is on a general rotation and um, yeah so that's what I don't really have I have a wish list but it's just sort of like everything ever on a stationary website so <laughs> what can I say about that uh, not a lot really um, but yeah, new content. I see I've, got, I've not got sticky notes in here or anything like that because they're in a little pot on my desk. Um, and uh, so I know where they are and they're handy for when I need them. So yeah, that's it. So no, everything's on a rotation and it, it all does get used. Probably need some highlighters. I'm going to get some highlighter pens. I love my highlighter pens. So there you go. And maybe, oh, I, I, I'll tell you what is on my wish list is Sharpies. So I think I'll go and get some highlighters and some Sharpies or at least put them on my wish list. Yes, yeah, so that's it. So there is my pencil case tag. If you have a pencil case and would like to join in, I'll recreate or I'll put the questions below that Anna did. Um, hop on over to Anna's channel and have a look at hers. And um, yeah, you do people analyse me by what's in my pencil case? I don't know. Um, I think the biggest thing is that I like London, I like unusual page markers and I like to be able to erase what I write sometimes. 
Um, is that what it says about me? I don't know. Let me know down below and I'll see you all soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.